Happening right now, the Naval Oceanographic Office raising awareness for Hydrography Day. Austin Johnson joining us live near the Pass Harbor with what's happening. Austin, good morning. Well, hey there, Bill. Good morning. Yeah, this is World Hydrography Day, and you may just be wondering what exactly that is. And it's all just a day dedicated to um, highlight those who study the physical features of bodies of water. But right now, I'm going to walk inside here. We're on the boat of, it's called the Bertram, and I'm here with Wade Ladner, and he's going to walk us through kind of what's going on here today and maybe the importance of what's happening inside here. Okay. Hi, Austin. Thanks for that. Um, I'm the technical director of the Naval Oceanographic Office, and, and every year, the International Hydrographic Office sponsors what they call World Hydrography Day, which is an event to bring awareness globally to the importance of hydrography and our understanding of the seas and oceans around the world. And being down here on, on the coast of Mississippi, I mean, this work is important and maybe vital down here to this area. It is. It is. Uh, for those who aren't aware, the Naval Oceanographic Office, which is at Stennis Space Center, um, is the Navy's hydrographic component for the Navy. Um, as you know, our ships conduct operations all over the world, and NAVOCEANO is responsible for surveying and conducting hydrographic surveys globally in support of naval operations. Gotcha. So kind of walk me through again. I mean, we're here today. There's a bunch of information, some um, equipment out, sit out here right across here from the uh, harbor here. But kind of walk me through all this on display. I mean, it's given everybody a sense of, you know, what this is all about. So in hydrography, there's a lots of sensors that we bring to bear to actually collect oceanographic parameters and understand the oceans. Hydrography, most people will associate that with uh, building and sustaining navigation, nautical charts for safety of navigation. There's a lot more to it. You know, we, we use it to actually understand the oceans of the world and to not only help build charts for our ships, but also supply oceanographic parameters to the fleet um, to give them a, a extra, if you would, superior knowledge for naval operations. Gotcha. And this is open to the public, and it will wrap up today at 2 o'clock here right outside the Pass Christian Harbor. But for right now, in Pass Christian, Austin Johnson, WLOX News Now.